What's good with y'all, man? Welcome back to the channel for another fire ass video. Today, we got a new product review, and I hope y'all enjoyed that intro, bro. Um, I worked long and hard for it. We are introducing to you the concealed fanny pack. I guess it would make sense if I took it off, right? Hold on. Damn. Y'all see how easy that was? This is the concealed fanny pack, right? Now, this isn't just any type of fanny pack. This is a man's man type of fanny pack. And this is brought to you by 945 Industries. You can get this in two different ways. You can get it with just this right here by itself, or you can get it with both of these. Now, I'm gonna kind of go over the ins, the outs, the ups, the downs um, of this fanny pack. To be 100 with y'all, I'm really not a fanny pack guy because I'm like, why in the hell would I carry a fanny pack? But now I got a reason to. Let me show y'all the reason. Typically, as y'all know, I like to wear shorts. And so these shorts, hold on, let me get y'all spin. These shorts I ain't got like really enough leg for it just yet because I skipped leg days. So, um, yeah. But if I was to wear these outside, where am I gonna conceal carry at? I mean, I obviously have no room, right? Now, I have like basically a way to conceal carry in plain sight. Bam. Quick, fast, and hairy, easy, and it's stylish. Y'all let me know in the comment section what y'all think. Is this like kind of stylish? Y'all, I got the, okay, so the humble and lethal patch does not come with this, all right? But it does have, um, damn, I gotta take this off again. It does have in the front, it has Velcro. So you can put some of your favorite patches on. Um, of course, your humble and lethal, legally dangerous, um, Rainbow J, all those good patches. But, you know, if y'all ain't got none, y'all better get y'all some. Has a zipper in the front as well, which is a pouch. Now, of course, I got this thing stuffed. This has my wallet in it or money clip, whatever you want to call it. I'm gonna put this back in there. On the back side, guess what? You got like a little bit of padding back here. So, um, of course you can still carry in. You got a gun on your chest, right? So I like that they actually took the time to put some padding. Can y'all see that? Yeah. They actually put some padding back here, which makes it comfortable to wear. It's not like really rubbing up against you and making you feel uncomfortable. I wore this for probably about like, I think at the longest, about like an hour and a half, two hours. And I wasn't uncomfortable, but I ain't got nothing back here, but you can put whatever you want to back there. Pretty big bag. It's about the same, if not the exact same size as the one in the front. I don't know what you want to put back here. Uh, maybe cell phone, MP3 player, iPod mini. I don't know. This is the whole reason for this fanny pack. This is the main compartment. This is my favorite compartment, right? So, okay, I'm gonna just do it like a little test for y'all, right? So let's say that, you know what I'm saying, I'm sitting at the gas station, pumping gas, and then um, somebody walks up to me with a knife, and they're like, hey, yo, Chris, you got some sexy legs, uh, what that mouth do, or something like that. I can be like, that damn thing, feel me? Easy. So it got like this little breakaway tab that makes it just easy to access your gun. So instead of having to do something like this, Tab in there. So instead of having to do something like this, you know, you can just break it away. Inside of here, you get a holster. Now this uh, holster fits my 40, how about say 43X, and <laughs> yeah, I know I cannot shoot that. This shoots my Glock GX4XL. I almost forgot what I had, right? And actually, I believe they advertise it for the GX4, but it fits my GX4 XL perfectly fine. And it's a tight fit. Right, oh, and by the way, we are empty. All right, safe direction. But, yeah, man. So on the inside, they have these breakaway tabs. Now, if you are wrong-handed, you are right-handed and wrong-handed, um, this can work for you best part about this is like I was having an issue with this at first because with the breakaway tab I had this holster mounted a little bit too high towards the zipper so it was getting caught on my red dot 
and that was a problem. So uh, I basically was like, oh damn, I can actually take this off because it's Velcroed. And then the best part about that, I want to point that at my, you know what, you can actually unscrew the Velcro and put it on the opposite side. So if you're left-handed, put the Velcro on this side. So now it mounts in here like this. Of course, it will probably be opposite and you could still do the exact same thing. Innovative, right? On to the next thing. We got the secondary pouch. Now, what's the secondary pouch for, Chris? Congrats. This also has that breakaway tab that has that 95 Industries logo on it. And so if you need to get to it quick, bam, you know, easy. All right, so I got a lot of stuff in here. Okay, I'm gonna tell you guys what I got in here so far. So I got my AirPods, extra magazine, knife, a light, knuckles, just in case I feel threatened. A lottery ticket, I want 20 bucks. Some Royal Honey. I actually got this from a gas station. Uh, so I think I'm gonna probably put this in my tea before I go to church and see how it tastes. And last, but certainly not least, a PlayStation 5 remote, just in case you go to the bro's house and talk on that shit, but he tried to give you the shitty remote. You can bring your own remote, bro. And it all fits inside this fanny pack. All right, now I'm just bullshitting uh, about the remote part. That, that's not the controller. I started to call it a remote. Bro, you know I don't play games. Uh, the controller won't fit, for real, for real. But I wanna show y'all the inside of this. All right, so um, what it looks like, right? So it has a lot of different pouches and stuff like that. So um, of course, here's the breakaway tab at the top. It has these like kind of, these are flexible little inserts, little slots or whatever. Put this over here to fit something like this. Then I have my knife. Put that right next to it and you're gonna want to practice with this so you so you know exactly how you know everything needs to be oriented because it's gonna be different from person to person then i have my knuckles you know my plastic knuckles not brass ones can't forget my lottery ticket we got to keep that close to our chest you know here's another good feature about this it's like velcro everywhere so i can just take this thing right off this probably would have been easier if i would have started with this right probably has these little inserts right here, right here. Has a big insert where, of course, I got my little plastic knuckles. Got that lottery ticket in the back. Um, let me flip this bad baby upside down. I got my my mag and my knife. And of course, this is a pull tab. And then, what else am I missing? Oh yeah. Tack light, right? So I'm gonna put my tack light over here. And this is just like, I think this is like a hundred, 100 lumens, like something slight. Bada bing, bada boom. And I ain't got nothing else really to put on this side. I know what I can put over here. The Lord's Caliber 35011. I'm gonna put this on right here. Bam. Just in case things get real. You feel me? So we can close that up. Oh yeah. An AirPods case. Nobody likes carrying that around. So easily close that up. I ain't gotta force it. Literally zips right up. And then y'all tell me how much, um, how much stuff y'all feel like y'all can fit in here because, right? So, Velcro, so you can take this on and off if you want and you can just rock the bag. Now, this bag is adjustable, right? So, don't be the weirdo, bro, that has your little, um, I don't even know what this thing is called, this little plastic thing right here and had this thing flapping around, bro. Bro, just pull this thing down, bro, so you can look clean, bro. Put together, my man. All right, so just a simple, bam, right? Coolest kid in the party. And the best part about this is you can also wear this thing around your waist if you like. Um, again, it is a fanny pack, so fanny packs originally started around your waist. Uh, if I want to put this on, come over here. Drop this bottom one like this. Put this back on like this, and boom, we're back in action. So I like to kind of keep this one over here, like kind of like up under my arm, depending on how full I have it. But like up under my arm, this is the main thing that you see. So, 
Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section, bro. Shout out to 945 Industries for sending me this, man. Um, it's a good product. Y'all know I gotta try to find something wrong with it. Uh -huh. If I had to change one thing about it, um, I would say y'all should uh, make this um, be able to conceal a 350 Legend AR-15 pistol. All right, that's 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 my critique. If y'all know what a 350 Legend, I'm gonna show y'all. All right, 945 Industries, I need y'all to make a fanny pack so that I can conceal this. All right, make a fanny pack so I can conceal this and I can take this everywhere. I'm tired of leaving this thing in my truck. I mean, not like under tenant or anything. I think I just snitched on myself. But make sure that y'all hit that like button, man. Um, also, do me a favor, go and follow 945 Industries on Instagram. I'm gonna go ahead and link it somewhere on the screen. Follow them on Instagram, and they're going to be doing a giveaway for a few of these bags. Um, I believe, let me see. Well, let me see what kind of guns they actually have holsters. Cause it is a select amount. I think they do like just mostly micro carries. All right, y'all. So if y'all go here, y'all can select y'all bag color, um, you know, the color of the holster, and then your firearms brand. But as y'all can tell, they got a big selection of firearm brands. So you just choose what you want. Let's just say we choose, I don't know, Glock. And then you go there, and then it'll show you what Glock it fits. All right, so as y'all can tell, it has the 26, it got the 43X, 43X MOS, but it does not have the 19, right? Because a lot of these are considered, you know, super either super compact pistols or they are micro carry. So just keep that in mind. If you are thinking about buying a gun and that you want it to be versatile to be able to fit in something like this, go on here, see what kind of guns they got and you'll be good to go. So again, they sell these bags either individually or not individually but like either just like this or like this and it comes with the holster all right that's the best part about it so it comes with the holster y'all seen how customizable these bags can be but make sure that y'all hit them up let them know that chris tv sent you and yeah i guess i'll see you guys next time Let's get it.